Hi, my name is Cecil and this is a video tutorial about emulating your keyboard keys to use with your arcade stick in Street Fighter 5 and any other games. So the first thing you need to do is download a software called joy to keynet which I will show you here. If you go to this website joy to keynet then you want to download the shareware, the latest version here. Download the latest version for free. Once that is downloaded, what we want to do is, if you have a pen and paper, you want to write down these these uh, letters, which come, which are which are for which buttons that are confirmed to your punches and your kicks for the move lists to help you with the move lists in Street Fighter 5. <coughs> so the default keys in Street Fighter 5 are G, H, J, K. G for low punch, H for medium punch, J for heavy punch, K for all three punches. For the kicks now is B, N, M and comma. Commas for all kicks. And your enter button on your keyboard is for enter. Your enter button for your keyboard is for to pause the menu in training, for example. And that that's going to be on your IK stick going to be your start button. So we're going to mimic or we're going to mimic these keys and we're going to put them on the arcade stick using joy to key. So once you have Joy to Key downloaded, what you want to do is once you have the folder of Joy to Keys here, for example, if you don't have WinRAR, WinRAR on your computer, you don't need to, you can download that if you want, but an easier way to open this folder is right click go to open with Windows Explorer the folders here you want to open um, right to key we want to open the folder then we want to go to joy to key it says application you want to open you want to run this will put this on your taskbar then what you want to do is pin to taskbar. Okay, I've done this before. I've done this already, but I'm just going to go through the steps of what you have to do. So now this is pinned to your taskbar. You want to close it because the next step we want to do is write down. So the next step we want to do is connect your arcade stick, and I want to show you something in control panel just to confirm that your arcade stick is working. So the next step you want to do is connect your arcade stick, your PS3, Mad Cat stick or any brand of stick that doesn't have Xbox uh, inputs. So what you want to do is connect it to a USB 2.0 As you can see on your screen, it will appear that you've connected a USB into the port. There we go. So what you want to do now is go to your control panel to see if this is actually working. So to do that, there's three ways you can do. It. There's three ways you can actually get into control panel on Windows 10. In the search bar here, if you type in control panel or just the four letters control uh, C O N T control there you can click on that and there's also settings and you want to go to devices and we want to go to devices and printers this is the area we want to go to devices and printers you can either do it this way or you can even just type in and search devices and printers as you can see device and printers there <coughs> so 
So let that open. So what we want to do is go to properties, go to hardware, priorities, check the driver is up to date, that's fine. Now we want to see if the actual stick works. So we go to the controller, we open up uh, game controller properties, you see that? So I'm moving the joystick, so we can see that's working, this is a test. I'm pressing the buttons, I'm pressing square, that's number one. Triangle, that's number four. R1 is number six. L1 is number five. X is two. O is three. R2, eight there. So you can see the buttons are working, right? Everything's good. So the test is fine, so we can see that it's working. Everything is, you know, working there, see? Lights are blinking, so we know that it's working. Yeah, so that's fine, so you, you've got that covered. You, you know that your arcade stick is working, so that's, that's good. So now what we need to do to get things running, to get this arcade stick working with Street Fighter 5 using Joy to Key while we emulate those uh, those keys we saw for the default game what we need to do is go to Joy to Key open it as run as admin so now you can see like my stick there, if you can see on the screen, everything is working. It's registering my arcade stick, right? It's registering the buttons. So what we want to do is, what we want to do first now is go to options, configure one. If you have more than one stick, then you repeat the same process we're about to do here. I've only got one stick. So, joystick. So what we want to do is go to settings, configure joysticks, configure, say OK, say OK. Now what we want to do is configure the stick to the mappings of the Street Fighter 5 default mappings. So, number one, so you want to do is click. So up, Uh, we don't put anything in here, we just leave it as it is. No, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, we do put something in there, sorry. So press your arrow key, on your keyboard press the arrow key. So we want up, down, we want down, then press OK, left, right, we want left, and press OK, right, you want right so we press the right arrow key on our keyboard now we want the buttons so you want to start with square so this is your light punch so remember light punch was J so light punch was G my bad light punch was G so we want button one put G in there press OK moving down now triangle that's button four so we want H, press OK, R1, press R1, that's button 6, so press button 6, so that's the letter J, right, L1, press L1, that is button 5, so we press K, and OK, yeah, so we test that out, yep, right so now, now we want the kicks button 2 we get that there so that was B 
then we press OK. So we want O, that's button 3, click on that. We press N, put it in there. R2, press R2, that is button 8. So we want the letter M, put it in there. Now we want L2, we press that, that's button 7, put that in. We want a uh, comma comma then we press OK so now you want your start button that's button 10 that's button 10 so we make that the enter button so put the word enter press the button the enter button so that's enter right so that's all the buttons for Street Fighter 5 so now what you want to do is go to where it says profile right click rename name that as Street Fighter 5 PS3 or just say Street Fighter 5 underscore PS3 arcade stick right press OK go to file save right so what you need to do now is leave joy to key open, minimize it in the background. So now let's go into Street Fighter 5 and test this out. Okay. So what we're going to do is test the buttons work. So as you can see now the buttons are working. So what we need to do now is go to options. Now you can see the buttons are working, the volume's down. So what we want to do now is go to battle settings, controller settings, and these are your buttons for your arcade stick so what you want to do is go to button preview light punch, medium punch, heavy punch all three medium uh, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick all three joystick movements back and forth joystick movements good to go alright so let's test it in the game <coughs> So what we want to do is test our buttons. Down, up. Capcom Street Fighter V fighting games franchise uses X import programming application from Microsoft, which will be Xbox native mapping import buttons. For fighting game players, I wanted to show how they can still use their PS3 arcade sticks. For example, the Mad Cat's brand to play the latest franchise on the PC without using a Xbox controller or their keyboard.
to um, move around you press R1 to move around and yeah you press L1 to, to go back so R1 and L1 those two buttons there see R1 to go to the right L1 to go to to go backwards to the left to exit the menu you press O to get back into the menu you press your start button which is going to be start select doesn't do anything you can move around set your dummy to to work okay so there you have it that is Street Fighter 5 uh, mimicking the keyboard buttons to work with your arcade stick thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial is useful to you when the game actually comes out so just to recap we've downloaded joy to key to help us uh, mimic the default keyboard settings for 355 to use on your PS3 arcade stick so thank you for watching peace